Hey everyone, it's Hillary. And Juan. And today we have our first hot chocolate with Hillary and Juan. Oh yes. Episode of 2020. I thought it would be really fun to invite my sweet fiance on and we can kind of just talk and discuss about what God taught us in 2019 and yes. what um, kind of our um, plans are and goals for 2020. So if you're new around here, hello, welcome. Um, Hot Chocolate with Hillary is a series I have here on my YouTube channel and I talk about things that God is teaching me, whether it's a book or a Bible study or some sort of lesson that God's been teaching me. And so I will link in the description box below all of the Hot Chocolate with Hillary episodes. You guys can check those out. And so how we kind of start off these videos is with a Bible verse. And so I would encourage you guys to stop what you're doing and pick up a notebook. I have my Hot Chocolate with Hillary notebook here. And um, so write down this verse because it's really powerful to be able to write down scripture. God talks about writing his word on our hearts. And so I would encourage you guys to grab a notebook. And um, we are on episode 10 today. Oh my goodness. Yes, wow. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of episodes. So Juan is going to read the verse of the day. Oh, yes. The verse is Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9, and that say, In their hearts humans plan their course, but the Lord establish their steps. So, it's a big thing for we remain. It's time. It's time. Will you read it again so that if people didn't write it down the first time, they can write it down the second time? Will you repeat yes. the Bible verse? I know. And we'll put it here on the screen too. Okay. Okay. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9. In their heart. No. Again. In their hearts, humans plain their course. But the Lord establish their steps. Awesome. So I picked that verse as we were kind of thinking about 2019 because um, I think oftentimes we can go into a new year, a new season, thinking like, I know what's going to happen. <laughs> I have this plan. I love planners. I have a ton of planners up there. I love planning and organizing. Yes, I know that. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, and so I have this like idea in my head about how things should go. And oftentimes God has totally different plans for us than we could ever have for ourselves. So um, that's why I picked that verse as we are just thinking and reflecting about 2019 and what God taught us. I invite you in the comments below to let us know what God taught you in 2019. So as we are sharing what God taught us, I'd invite you to just really think and reflect about what God taught you in 2019. So I'm going to share first. And one of the big things God taught me, oh, and also I picked that verse because my word for 2019 was surrender. And so to me, surrender was kind of having my palms open, my hands open, and kind of giving my life to God and saying, okay, Lord, not my plans, not my dreams, not my agenda, but giving it to God. So that's another reason why I wanted to pick that Bible verse because it really matched well with this theme of surrender. So my, um, one of the big things God taught me in 2019 has to do with my mug that I have full of hot cocoa and it says pray. And so that was a really big theme for me in the year. Um, we had just a lot of like challenging situations come oh, up. Yes. Um, so we got engaged and then we applied for this really big visa to get him here and it was just kind of a stressful year. <laughs> um, but I don't think we would be where we are today if it weren't for prayer. Um, so praying for each other, 
praying for together, um, praying on our own, praying for our plans in the future, and just seeing God answer in really miraculous ways. I think it's a big miracle that Juan got the visa to come here. Oh, yes. Um, his parents got the visa to come here, it's and real. it's a 10-year visa, and so that was a huge answer to prayer. Um, prayers just for provision financially, prayers for God's provision for strength and energy because it's really stressful planning a wedding, let alone from being really far away from each other. And so, um, also just asking for prayer from other people. So I reached out a lot on my creative faith Instagram page, which is linked down below. So if you're not following me there on Instagram, definitely go do that. Um, but asking for prayer from you guys saying, Hey, Juan has this really big visa appointment. Will you guys pray? Or his parents do, or, Hey, I'm really struggling. I have a really bad headache. Will you please pray for me? And so just being like vulnerable and brave enough to ask others for prayer is yes. hard, but really important. So that's kind of the first big lesson God taught me is all about prayer. And then the second thing, Juan and I have a little phrase that we always say and it's that God is good all the time and all the time God is good and so we say it in English and in Spanish and so that's kind of been our phrase for more than just this year for our whole relationship but yes especially was before we and you meet yes yeah um but just thinking about how like even when our circumstances around us maybe aren't super good, um, remembering that God is still good. And so just thinking about that, how no matter what challenges you guys are going through right now or what challenges you had in 2019 or what challenges are to come in 2020, that God is still good even when your circumstances around you aren't good because it's in his character to be a good God. So that's yes. kind of what um, the second thing that God taught me in 2019. So what about you, love? Yeah, so for me it was a good things for me, <laughs> yes. So God taught me really about patience. That was, oh, that is the best important for me because we had a lot of situation when we didn't know how it's gonna or what it's gonna to do or it's gonna happen and one situation for getting uh, a visa for me or what we are gonna to do when we are living together in these two countries so really in a lot of time I had to uh, wait only wait and to see what God uh, is happening is happening so um, yes I think sometimes we forgot that God is in control and he cares us um, and in a couple case we think or we were thinking about something a specific something but that don't happen and we was oh we were wow what we need to do now but and after that, we can see what, why God uh, didn't don't sing. Because best things is coming for us. And yes, I think we need to uh, remain more. God is in control and have uh, patience patience uh, in I think in a practice ways when you are 
driving and you see a green light and you want with all of your heart crossing this time but the line change so it's red now and you need to stop and wait you start to to say oh I am uh, spend, spending time uh, doing nothing here so why I, I didn't cross in, in green light but uh, in this time we forgot that God is in control and maybe if you cross in this green light it's possible you can have you can have a, an accident or whatever things is bad for you but God is saying to you wait it's better for you stop and wait so I think because the time is not it's not our time it's the time of God so I think in this situation is so easy we forgot that God is in control do you know someone who does that gets mad at waiting at red lights no I didn't see her <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, it's, I think it's important we uh, have present. We need to wait and have patience because God wants the better things for us. And in the future, that is coming. So, yes, I think that was the best thing that God taught me in this year. So we would love to hear again from you guys in the comments down below. What did God teach you in 2019? We'd love to hear and just continue the conversation in the comments below. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I did want to say just a short little prayer um, and to just thank God for everything that he did and taught us in 2019 and to just say a quick prayer for 2020. So. Yes, and for next year, 2020, uh, my big goal is have more patience <laughs> <laughs> because um, I have uh, a lot of things new for me and really is a new life and uh, not only because I am in a new country if not because we are getting married marriage in uh, the next year and it's a new family for us it's, for me it's really um, a little bit difficult uh, the custom and a lot of things here and yes so in this year I need more patience <laughs> and because I need to wait for a new job and, and things that I don't, I don't know how it's coming or how it's gonna do I, I don't know so and I need to learn more more and more English so I need to have patience for that and please pray for that for me <laughs> so yes more patience for next for year 2020 2020 <laughs> yes for me my kind of two focuses for 2020 are joy and stay tuned for some kind of fun things about joy in 2020 that we have up our sleeves and sacrifice is my second word for 2020 god really put both of those on my heart um in thinking about sacrificial love and um i think they kind of go well together too yes. so let's um I invite you to close your eyes and bow your heads and pray 
So Heavenly Father, I thank you for 2019. I thank you for just all that you taught us, God, and for the good moments and the hard moments. And um, I just pray over everyone watching this video that you would show them how you were with them in 2019 and what's one thing that they, they that you taught them in 2019, God. And I pray for 2020, a new year, a new decade, new adventures ahead. I pray that you would use everything in our lives to draw us closer to you. And I pray that you would help us to remember that you are good all the time. We love you and pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any Creative Faith videos. Let me know in the comments if you want to see him in more of my videos in this year. Yes. And um, definitely give this video a big Please. thumbs up. Don't forget. 